The Indian Army is all set to induct artificial intelligence-powered military objects detection system for satellite images, that will facilitate automatic detection and classification of military objects in satellite imagery in real time, and will enhance intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance capability. China is unable to deploy its J-20 stealth fighters for long durations in Tibetan plateau, as just after one sortie, its stealth radar absorbent material coatings were developing cracks due to high altitude of airfields. In order to enhance indigenization capability to 70% over the next three to four years, the government has raised funding for technology development projects by micro small and medium enterprises from current 10 crore rupees to 50 crore rupees. Kenyan President William Ruto and Prime Minister Modi have agreed that Defence Forces of India and Kenya will work together in collaboration, sharing information experience knowledge and intelligence. The South Korean government has announced that it has selected the Embraer C-390 Millennium Transport Aircraft for its large transport aircraft acquisition program, and aircraft which is also on offer to Indian Air Force with local production. The Indian Air Force does not anticipate requesting any significant changes to the 97 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft, but HAL is working to increase the indigenous content from the current 65% to 80% for the 97 units. As per media reports, the per unit cost of the Tejas Mark 1A is unlikely to increase, and each aircraft will cost no more than 315 crore rupees as manufacturing facilities and supply lines are already established, and inflation-related price adjustments are unlikely to be factored in, since the second order was cleared in less than two years. With three production lines, HAL will facilitate quicker induction of previous 83 units and the follow-on 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. The Indian Air Force's Airbus A321 fleet crew has been seen wearing an A321 patch, which suggests that the aircraft are already operational. The crew has started frequent sorties, which is a crucial step in ensuring the operational readiness of the aircraft, and to calibrate the equipment being installed on the aircraft as part of the Netra Mark II program. The six Airbus A321 aircraft have already been stripped out of its commercial avionics and upgraded to military-grade avionics, and it will start receiving airborne sensors along with the ACE radar from the DRDO in 2024, and the first Netra Mark II aircraft will be delivered to the Indian Air Force in 2027. During Egypt Defence Expo 2023, the chairman of Bharat Dynamics held a fruitful discussion with the Egyptian Air Defence Commander about cooperation in the field of air defence. The two sides discussed the potential for supplying the indigenously developed Akash air defence system to Egypt. Prime Minister Modi and Egyptian President will also discuss the sale of both the Akash system and Tejas Mark 1A aircraft during their upcoming meeting, and will pitch the Astra air-to-air -air missile and Arjun Mark 1A tanks to Egypt. Today's top 3 comments.